All right, Kenman here, and today we are checking out a couple knives from a company called Tactical Gears. That's Gears with a Z. Uh, these are loaners that I got from a friend of mine. Um, I asked him if I could borrow them, kind of check them out, see what they're about. But if you're interested in looking to purchase a few of these from Tactical Gears with a Z, um, they are available on Amazon. The company does make quite a few different models, different styles, uh, blade shapes, handle materials, titanium. They got a lot of different variety, uh, ranging $30 to $100 or more. Uh, so they do have quite a few different things to offer. Uh, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to look at. Before we start, like I said, these are loaners from a friend of mine. But other than that, I am not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. And I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Okay, let's get into it. We'll start one at a time here. Set this one aside. They both come with this nice pouch. It has this belt clip, belt loop you can put on your belt if you want to carry them that way or they both do have uh, pocket clips as well so you have options variety this is the crux kind of falls under that gentleman knife category where it's a kind of a thin profile the blade fits completely within the handle uh, it's a flipper tab really nice action works real easy that liner locks easy to work flips out really quick what do you think nice looking kind of classy knife got that tanto blade you can tell he's been using it it's got some use that's good sometimes knives can be for work sometimes knives can be for show sometimes they can be for both this one's got a budget uh, value of about forty dollars which is awesome for forty bucks this thing feels great you don't really feel too bad about using it um, Blade centering is really nice. That just feels really good. It opens real nice. That detent works how it should. I have several of these, this style gentleman knife. We're gonna bring some out here. We can kind of do some comparing. This buck right here, this buck, I don't know if I can get it to stood up without that. Let's put it that way. With the uh, the buck decatur. What is this, 256? Look at that handle, look at that shape, almost identical. But you see how all these kind of fit within the shape of the handle itself? That's kind of a gentleman's style folder. Oh, ooh. Real nice there, real classy. That is an Itoki Damascus cheap, little fun little one for 15 bucks. Like I said, this is the Buck Decatur. Go back to the one we're actually looking at today. This Tactical Gears Crux. This is a Civivi Exarch with a. Oh, jeez, Dan. Not today, huh? With a front flipper. We are live. I'm not going to edit. Here we are. This is the CRKT uh, CEO Compact. <clears throat> But yeah, that's kind of what a gentleman's knife, they call it, looks like. I definitely had a few examples of them already that, since I think they are kind of cool, the way they look and the way they kind of sit and the kind of classy nature of them. Get these out of the way here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I said D2 steel on this. It's got a G10 handle. It's got a kind of a neat kind of shape to it where it kind of concaves in and comes back out got a little bit of texture in the middle fun little knife for 40 bucks all right i'm gonna set that one aside for now move on to the other one this one is called the vex kind of a different knife this one's a bit more of a beef oh look at the thickness of that blade Uh, this one also has a G10 scale handle. Look at the contour on that, though. I don't know if you can see that. 
It's got a really nice feel. Flipper tab works really nice. I have larger hands. This handle fits in my hand very well. I really like the way that feels. That's a really nice shape. Just natural the way my hand is. I know sometimes when they have these little extra little dents, it doesn't always fit everyone's hand correctly. But for me, my hand fits, my thumb sits right in there nice. That fits right in between my index and my second finger. Feels really, really nice. For, and this one's also around $40. 40 bucks. What do you think about that? There are some cool, they said, uh, you know, I don't want to downgrade it by saying it's a budget knife, but for 40 bucks, I mean, that's really cool. Um, pocket clip only in one spot. Yeah, both of these, only one option for where the pocket clip goes. So the lefties, I am a lefty. Um, it doesn't shy me away from buying, look at that weight on that blade. It doesn't shy me away from buying one that doesn't have a lefty options. I do carry them in the right on occasion. Um, but having that option and using my left main hand Definitely, and that liner lock's kind of tight. But I'm having an off day with my hands. I would like to, man, maybe I need to make a liner lock that's a lefty liner lock. So the righties could try that out, see what that's like to have to do it the opposite way. <laughs> what do you all think about that? Yeah, um, ball bearings and the pivot, uh, both of them. It does uh, have a really good action. I could open this all day. It's got a really good feel. Uh, looks like this also is a tip down carry. Most people like to carry tip up. Uh, I know it is a preference thing. I know people will get in arguments about that um, to each his own. Uh, but when there is no option and you're forced to do uh, exactly what they've designed it to do, that's the only choice you've got. So this one would be a tip down carry only. Sometimes that turns people off. And sometimes it turns them on. Um, so let's get out the old Civivi Vision FG. With the super lock. Loving that a lot. Really great knife. If you... Uh, I'm looking for a new knife right now. Civivi Vision FG. Amazing. I've also got a CJRB Riff. This is another beefy one that I really like. This one's a button lock. Works really good. You can finger flick it really easily. And just look at that thick blade. So that's why I'm kind of putting that one up there too. Kind of give a little comparison. But yeah, this tactical gear is Vex. Definitely is a thick, thick boy. Does everybody like big knives, like smaller knives? It's kind of neat. We're doing a little bit of both today. Um, what are your preferences? If you uh, were to only pick one, would you kind of pick one that's a larger knife, like one of these? Or would you take something that's a little more compact? Or, I mean, take this. Just take that. 40 bucks, though. That is great tell me what you think in the comments what are you guys into what do you prefer if you had to go one or the other what what's your style are you more of a classy look more of a beefy look you don't like either and you want something that's more expensive it's a little bit to everybody right but this tactical gears company i mean for having some inexpensive kind of pieces. They also have some more expensive pieces. Uh, it might be a company worth checking out if you are interested um, and looking to, to expand your collection or just to look for something else that you haven't seen before. Um, I'm not getting any sponsorship through the company or anything like that. Like I said, my friend had these knives and I kind of wanted to check them out just because it was something in the world that I'm into and I like to kind of see everything that is out there for to be offered 
and uh, share it with you. Well, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more. It helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp, and we'll see you next time.